Okay, this is a tutorial on how to add VPP apps uh, for the iPad to your FileWave app portal. So the first thing you'll do is go to volume.itunes.apple.com then you'll select either education or business, in this case education. Then make, need to make sure that you are signed in. Next, search for the application that you want to add. You'll then uh, be asked the quantity that you want, so go ahead and enter your quantity. Hit review order and place order and you'll have to sign in and buy it okay now the next thing that I like to do is I come up to the URL here and I'm gonna grab this number here which is the app ID that will make it a little easier to search for uh, when we're looking for it in FileWave thing you'll do is go into FileWave You'll want to make sure that you get the license for, for your uh, VPP application that you ordered. Once you have that, I like to go into File Preferences, VPP, and DEP. And I like to synchronize the VPP web service. That way it will pull in any licenses uh, that we have that are new to FileWave. Here it tells me that it was successful. I'll hit OK. Close out of this. Give it a few seconds. It's going to ask me if I want to import the new applications I just always say no on that okay now you just need to find the file set that you want to associate it with so then you'll go up to new mobile file set you'll click on the App Store now that number that I copy here, that's where we're going to use this. I like to select store ID lookup. I'll then paste this number right here and hit enter and it will pull up that exact application. So I'll just go ahead and double click to add it. Next I need to go to the file set where the application was added. I need to double click on the file set, associate with my VPP token, and then select the number of licenses that I want to give this association. Once I've done that, update the model. Okay, your app has now been added to the FileWave app portal.